What is Pakatok, a Historical Humans production? Ritual and spectacle have fascinated people for thousands of years. As human societies grew, their spectacles grew with them. Among these fantastic displays was the Mesoamerican game known to the Mayans as Pakatok. So what was this great ball game? Pakatok is the Mayan version of a game played throughout ancient Mesoamerica. This game is more generally referred to as Olama, and it is believed to have originated or even predated the Olmec culture of 800 to 400 BCE. It spread across the subsequent Toltec, Mixtec, Aztec, and Mayan cultures. The game itself is mentioned in numerous myths across the cultures that played it. In the Mayan version, the game itself was said to be a reenactment of their myth of the hero twins in which the twins had to overcome the gods of death in the underworld by winning a ball game. The games played by humans were held in honor of these or other deities as it was deemed appropriate by the time of year. In this sacred element, the ball would represent the moon or sun and thus was not allowed to touch the ground except by passing through the vertical rings erected along the sloping walls of the ball court. Pakatok is played on a Tlachi, a ritual eye-shaped ball court of 75 by 25 feet with outwardly sloping walls. The ball was a 6-inch sphere of solid rubber which players on teams ranging in size from 2 to 11 would have to keep airborne at all times using any part of their body except the hands or feet. The objective of the game was to hit the ball through a vertical hoop located 27 feet above the ground. Physical contact between the players was allowed and even encouraged. As such, injuries among players were a frequent occurrence. Scoring in Pakatok was extremely difficult and it was expected that those who scored would be rewarded with gifts of clothing and jewelry from the spectating crowd. Although human sacrifice was a part of the ritual surrounding the game, players were rarely sacrificed and games dedicated to minor deities were often a little more than friendly competitions performed as much for personal enjoyment as for ritual purpose. On the occasion where a game of Pakatok was to take the place of a war or other armed conflict between two groups, it was acceptable to sacrifice the leader of the losing team. However, this could be avoided if the losing side offered sufficient compensation in trade goods such as jade and obsidian. In short, Pakatok was the Mayan sacred ball game. It served as a recreation of the myth of the hero twins triumph over the god of death, and it was played with a solid rubber ball in honor of the Mayan gods and in place of armed conflict. On occasion, those who lost the ball game could be used as human sacrifice. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if there's a topic that you would like to see, be sure to leave a comment down below. And please be sure to check out all of our social medias listed down below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week.